song is stuck inside your head. Sing this song, just sing this song instead. It goes like. Hey guys, so as most of you probably didn't know, I am Chinese. Don't be like one of those people that's like, oh yeah, psh, I knew that, because you probably didn't. I mean, there's an even chance that I could have been Japanese, I could have been Korean, I could have been like any Asian, I could be from any Asian country. So I've been trying to embrace the Asian in me because this is who I am and this is who I'm always going to be. But there are some people out there making it kind of hard to want to be Asian. And if you're Asian, then you probably know the struggle. I have had so many people come up and ask me if I speak Chinese. And I mean, that's okay, because I do look like I speak Chinese. And I mean, I've even had like Asian people come up to me. But a lot of people come up to me and be like, oh, do you speak Chinese? Or oh, do you speak Korean or something? And I'll be like, no. No, I don't. I moved here before I could talk, and so I don't really speak any of it. And you're like, are you sure? You know, like, are you really, you really don't speak any? Are you sure you don't know any? He's like, yes, I am sure. I think I would know if I knew how to speak another language. I don't. I went out to eat with my family one time, and it was my sister and I, who are both from China, and my mom and dad, you know, and we had gone out to eat, and there was this man sitting at a table next to ours. He tapped my mom on the shoulder and was like, excuse me, do your, do your girls speak Japanese? And mom's like, no, they're Chinese and they moved here a long time ago and don't remember anything. He's like, are you sure? And mom's like, yeah, they moved here, you know? And he's like, okay, because my wife speaks Japanese and I thought it'd be cool for her to have somebody to talk to. Okay, I see how it is. I mean, I'm Asian. I must be Japanese. And also, I must be friends with your wife because I'm Asian. I mean, I kind of understand, like, the thing about, like, if I went to, like, France or something, it'd be kind of cool to find somebody who spoke English, but I mean, like, the assumptions that he was making and the way he, like, presented himself and asked were a little bit offensive. I've been also asked so many other things that have been slightly offensive. I've been asked if I know karate or taekwondo, and I don't, and also, karate is Japanese and Taekwondo is Korean so even if you were jumping on the stereotype train I technically wouldn't know how to do it anyway because I'm not Korean and I'm not Japanese imagine that I've also been told that I would be great friends with somebody just because I'm Asian and they're Asian no that doesn't work I mean if that was the case then all you white people will be friends and there would be no clicks there'd be no like popular kids or cool kids or nerds or anything, you all would get along just great and the movie Mean Girls wouldn't even exist. It wouldn't need to exist. It wouldn't be a thing. Then I also have gotten asked a question that makes me lose all faith in humanity. Alright, I've been asked, are you Chinese or are you Asian? No. 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 That's like me asking you. Oh, are you from Canada or are you from North America? Just, no. Come on, guys. Come on. That's like basic stuff. Even I can figure that one out. That's just not right. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really sorry if you've been like on the asking side of things and I kind of offended you a little bit. Sorry about that. But I mean, come on, stereotypes. You can't. No. And if you guys can relate to this, feel free to leave stories in the comments. I mean, we can all have a boo stereotypes party in the comments. Yay. Anyway, I will see you next week. Peace.